Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller and in today's tutorial, we're going to dive even further into functions.php and focus specifically on hooks. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, what hooks are, it's a pretty common thing throughout most CMSs out there or content management systems. And this is, um, this is, this is not uh, uh, user friendly, uh, as in if you're just purely a, a, a business running on a WordPress site or, or a content author, this one is a bit advanced and, and might not be for you. This is gonna be developer focused, okay? So when it comes to hooks, um, hooks allow you to modify uh, data or information as a page loads, uh, or it allows you to take action or trigger something um, at a particular time or in a particular space, okay? Um, it it's, can be an abstract or difficult to, to wrap your head around at first, but I think that after taking a look at what we're gonna walk through in just a moment, it'll hopefully make more sense. Now, uh, this is a freestyle video. We're gonna start with the content and we're gonna modify information as the page loads with specifically just the content. If you've watched previous videos, what I mean by the content, that's a WordPress function that's responsible for producing the content in a particular space. Uh, but since uh, we're freestyling some of this, we might also uh, explore some other things after that time permitting. So let's get started. Um, we're gonna fly over here uh, to good old trusty Google and say the content hook. And our top hit here is from developer.wordpress.org, which WordPress has some phenomenal documentation. I actually should shoot a video on just how to look at documentation, which for me was a big struggle for a long time. Uh, but once I really dug in and, and learned how, you need, how, how to read documentation, it really helped uh, a lot. So let's go ahead and click on the content. And starting here at the top, we can see that this particular hook is a filter. There are two types of hooks. There are filter hooks and action hooks. Filter hooks modify data. That's about the simplest way I can put it right now. And action hooks allow you to do something uh, in a particular space, okay? Think of it like a doorway of sorts. Now, even though I sort of distilled those two in a relatively simple manner, you can get really abstract and with it and do lots of different things there within those two parameters so uh yeah okay so um it tells us here that this is going to filter the post content uh the parameter that it is uh expecting is the content of the current post and there's lots of information here that uh, we're not going to get into you'll be able I'll, I'll include a link uh in the video below uh with this but i am going to copy out this as a starting point that's the other thing that I really enjoy about WordPress documentation. They have lots of great boilerplate or uh, uh, demo code that you can start from. So we're gonna paste that in, but we're gonna clean this up a little bit. We're gonna delete that there. And we're going to update the name of this function. Okay. And let me walk us through what I just did or what all this means. So. First of all, add filter is a function provided to us by WordPress. This is a PHP function. The content is also a function uh, that WordPress provides to us. And this is the, how can I put this? This is the type of filter that we want to use. There are many different types of filters, right? So add filter is one function but then there are many different types of filters, okay? Now, change content uh, is a callback function, and we can see that it's defined just below, all right? In this one here, I actually have to, let me jog my memory on this, WordPress hooks. Yeah, let's just start there. Uh, 
one before I misspeak on this, I just want to, yeah, see there's actions and filters there. Um, yeah. Maybe that's priority. I can't, I can't remember. Maybe we'll cover this in a future video, but you know, for instance, I think it's in this order. You have priority and then you have arguments or expected parameters. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, let's get back to it. So um, we can we should be able to remove this. And if this produces an error later on, blame me. We'll roll it back and fix it. All right. So the content. We're using a callback function change content that functions defined below and we have this uh, parameter or uh, argument content and then we're returning the content so if I save this and go back to the front end here and refresh we should see the content for this particular page now in previous videos we created this page and threw in this demo content if I click back to the back end, or if I go back to the front end and click on edit page here, then again, we can confirm, yes, hello world, this is a test. If we click view page, hello world, this is a test, okay. Nothing is changing so far because we're still returning the original content. Content's being passed in, content's being returned untouched. But let's change that. And we're just going to do something really silly here. So we're going to change the content. This, mm, just NASA, just NASA. Keep it simple. Save that, refresh, NASA. If we go back and look at the back end of this page, our content's unchanged, it's still there. So that's the content that's being stored in the database. If we view our page though, we don't see that content. That's because we're using the content hook to accept or grab a hold of the content as the page loads and change that. Now this isn't necessarily a very useful example, but the, the whole point of this demonstration is, is to learn a little bit about the hook system and how that works. Now, let's see, I told you this is a bit of a freestyle video, so let's think, um, what is a good action hook? Let's do WordPress action hooks. And it's gonna bring us back to that handbook that I think that we were just at. No, it did not, but here's a list of action hooks. I'm gonna zoom in here. Looks like set up theme before the theme loads, do something, init, register sidebar. Hmm. Okay. Before the header template is loaded, get header, WP head. Use to print scripts or data in the head tag on the front end. Cool. Okay, let's click that. Oh, it was moved. The page was moved. Let's go there. All right. Do action. Uh, print scripts or data in the head tag on the front end. Add action WP head. Great. Okay. So here are some examples. Let's just grab one of these. Let's grab this one. Here's a little bit of JavaScript in our PHP, I know some of you, I think my boy Roy is not a fan of it, neither am I, uh, but we're gonna use this in spite, of, in spite of that. So, I'm gonna comment this out and create some space here. I don't want any distractions. Okay, function. Hook JavaScript is the name of our function. And notice too that this function is being defined above the hook and this one's being defined below the hook. It doesn't matter. The order in which the function is defined either before or after the hook, it doesn't matter. Uh, organize it however you want. 
Some people have preferences. And um, this one seems uh, a little different, right? Because what's happening is that the PHP uh, is, is being uh, uh, stopped, right, at this point. Some HTML or JavaScript are being written using the HTML tag script, doing an alert page is loading, and then reopening our PHP there so we can continue writing PHP and then we're closing it at the end. So if we save this without doing anything, and if we come back here to the front end, when I reload, we should see a JavaScript alert box. And there we have it, we did. It says page is loading, and that is the message here. If we change this, say, um, say NASA or NASA, refresh, and now it says NASA, all right. This again may or may not be a very helpful example, but let me again reinforce or re explain what it is that we're doing here with the head. And before I do that, actually, let me just remove this and echo demo. Hit refresh, demo. So if I inspect the DOM here, you see demo is, is being output at the very top, okay? We can change that, or we can make this a little bit more obvious because it's not very obvious. It's still inside the body tag there. We can make it a little bit more obvious if we look at our files and go to our header. This WP head function provided to us by WordPress is where that where we're hooking into. We're hooking into this little space within our theme. And all themes have this, or they should anyway. So let's put that up in the head and do a refresh. Oh, good grief. I'm doing something wrong. Is it because Let's do, let's do script and demo. Ba, 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 ba. Might be on the bottom. Yep, it's on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's Google Chrome's DOM that is forcing it inside the body because it's not in a proper tag of sorts in the head section. Okay, so the point I'm trying to make here before we get off topic is uh, in the header.php, we you know would have our whole entire head section. I'm sorry, we would have our entire head section and then uh, our WP head which would be a part of every WordPress theme that's developed, is the place where we can use uh, a hook, uh, specifically an action hook, to hook into that space and place some stuff there. A very common thing that's done is like updating meta tags or adding meta tags or adding scripts or adding styles. So that is a very common use case. Um, so again, we have a filter hook, the content, and we have an action hook, WP head. There's many different hooks, there's tons of them, but hopefully you learned a little bit in this video, a little bit more about WordPress hooks, how they're used, and as you dig into other themes and see how other developers are using those hooks, that starts to give birth to these ideas and how you might use hooks to develop your WordPress theme. And when you get into WordPress, plugin development, which we'll cover in a future video, these are become even more important uh, when developing plugins. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, come join, join, join me again for future videos. Hit the subscribe button, button below. Man, I'm really botching this this time.